Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a clothing, makeup, hair, beauty haul, like literally everything that I have bought recently I'm going to be showing you and trying to get you a good deal you know, that's what I'm all about. So we're just going to dive straight in, no time wasting and we're going to do this quite fast so get ready. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is my all time favourite makeup remover, it is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar, Micellar, don't know, cleansing water and this is the big one, this is the 700ml and Lily's just about knocked my camera down, mm-hmm, girl, she's just staring at me, you coming? Okay, this is a 700ml bottle and it was £5 in Asda. Normally you can get the big 700ml one for £6 in Superdrug but Asda, £5. So yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing okay, is... So another few things that I got from Primark is... Glow Drops, Double Dimension Highlighter Drops in the shade Champagne. Oh my god, stop! She's actual she's actually like diving into my camera. This is not funny. Come here. Come here. Come and sit nice. Come here. Come on. Come on. Lily, I don't have time for this, babe. Okay, so it's the glow drops. It's basically a liquid highlight in the shade champagne. You get 16ml of product and they're £4 and I just put them under my foundation where I'm going to apply highlight and it just adds like a bit of an extra kind of, I wouldn't say shimmer, it like just adds like depth into your face and they're so good. Um, they're normally £4 but they're in the sale, see if she knocks this camera down I swear to god. Go. Oh. Um, they're in the sale for £2 at the minute so definitely jump on that hype because I think they're better than iconic London ones. Sorry. The S Strobe Face and Body Highlighting Cream. This looks really dark but it's in the shade Rose Gold. Um, I don't even know if I put this on my hand will you be able to see. I did have it in um, a lighter shade called Peril. Um, and it's exactly like the the MAC ones, the MAC strobe creams. So this is the Peril one. So they retail for £3 but they were both on the sale for a pound. I already had this one, I got it when it first came out when it was £3 and then I seen it again and I thought you can't really go wrong with it. So got the both of them for a pound each. And they're amazing. You get 40 mils of product and they are exact same as the MAC ones. Now I know you probably can't even see that but that's what they look like not very good swatches I know they're a bit we just need to rub that in now because I have nowhere to kind of put that another product I got from Primark is the Beauty Protective Primer picture perfect and it says that it primes, protects and moisturises I said that dead weird moisturises helping to shield against digital blue light and uh, can I just say Primark products are cruelty free as far as I'm aware, well, they are now. I don't think they used to be, but they are now, apparently. So yeah, it looks like this. And it was £4 and it was down to £2 in the sale. Um, I don't really know if it does make a difference, but it feels like it does. Like, it doesn't have a smell or anything like that and it goes on black. Like, that is a product that's so weird. I just feel like my makeup looks like flawless when I've got it on so I don't even know what is in it that's doing it like what's making it like that but I'm not gonna argue because I like so, it what I'm wearing on my lips just now is Primark it's the lip liner pencil in the shade Ruby don't even know if you can see that colour Um, this was a pound it's like a pinky red like pinky reds and then the lipstick that I'm wearing is PS Matte in the shade Scorch that sounds very aggressive 
and it just looks like this and it's beautiful and smells so good as well and this was 150 so my lip combo that I'm wearing just now is £2.50 and it is the best red that I have ever worn I have tried Urban Decay, I have tried Makeup Forever, I have tried MAC, Sleek, everything, you name it, I have tried a red lip and I hated red lipstick, like I could not wear it because I just could not find a red that suited me and I just picked this up for my kit because I thought, I'll just give it a wee try, I don't really have any reds like that Wow, it's the only red lip that I will use on my clients and on my face now, it's so good Last but not least from Primark setting sprays so I got two I've actually had these for a while so I've been testing them out because I didn't want to use them in my last haul video because I hadn't tried them yet so you're getting them now so I got two this one's the glow one and it's infused with vitamin b5 illuminating petals and aloe vera and I also got this one here the matte one and it's infused with aloe vera vitamin b3 I don't know what that says because it's kind of rubbed off. Something clay and rose water. So they both smell amazing. Can you hear that? There's like wee... Can you actually hear that? That would be really embarrassing if you can't. Um, there's like wee bits on it and it like gets shaken up. And, like, and this one there is like illuminating stuff on it. And this one is just so matte. Like it's so, so good. Um, but I don't use this one personally because... I've got quite dry skin so I don't really use matte but a lot of my clients say that they do like it. The only thing is you get a lot of product when you spray it and there's, there's nothing wrong with that but the first time I used it I was spraying it and I just looked at my client and I was like oh my god she's soaking. Like she looked like she'd been for a shower. And you can also get a hydrating one as well. I might actually try and get the hydrating one because they're only £4. Four pounds. Another makeup product that I am loving at the moment, I'm very excited to show you, is these beautiful little things that have blessed my life. So they are the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas Full Coverage Eyeshadow Base in the shade Create, which I think is light. Like they've got different names and I keep dropping everything, I don't know what's wrong with me. I got one in the shade Halo which is pure white but when you use it it doesn't go like white. It's not like very dramatic, um, it's just a little bit This is only 4.5ml but these are £6. You can get them on Superdrug website, you can get them on Beauty Bay, you can get them loads of places. Um, I did get every single shade, you do get darker shades but they're not that dark but I did get darker shades um, and these are the only things that I will use as an eye base now in my kit so definitely these are so so good, you do need to try them out they make your eyeshadow stand out so so well another product that I could not live without at the minute is the Maybelline New York Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in the shade Transparent I think that these are quite cheap. I think they're about five ninety nine, maybe maybe even cheaper than that. Um, I'll show you what the brush looks like. So it's basically just a clear mascara, but it's for your eyebrows, and it's like such a sticky kind of. I don't. It's not sticky. It's like very tacky, so your brows stay like up the way. Like I'm loving a fluffy brow at the minute. And I usually just put that on my brows, let it dry for a couple of minutes and then brush up the way with um, my spoolie and then add a wee bit of product in it and you've got an amazing fluffy brow that literally does not move all day and it's so cheap as well so definitely a kit must have. Another kit must have is a setting spray from Revolution and it's the Sport Fix, <coughs> excuse me. I uh, was really not well during the week and I uh, think I had the flu and I'm still kind of trying to recover from it and I'm just getting my voice back hence why I sound like this so don't hate it is the Revolution Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray you get 100ml for £6 all I'm going to say is if you like Urban Decay All Nighter you will die when you use this this is so much better and your makeup literally doesn't budge it's so good
I need to stop saying that. I need to stop saying, oh, it's so good. But it is. It's... My camera just died, so that's great. So I don't actually know what I was saying. So I'll just... Don't actually know when it did cut out, so I'm just going to carry on from where I realised my camera died. And if this is a bit mumbled, a bit mumble jumble, then... I'm sorry, but I'm trying my best. So, yeah, this is the Revolution Gold Elixir Rose Hip Seed Oil. And I don't actually know what it's supposed to do. Like, oh, it helps condition skin and even skin texture and it encourages skin hydration. Now, I will say, it is very, very, I wouldn't say oily, it's just very hydrating. So if you are, what well, is wee bit oily. Okay, scrap what I said. It's very oily. When you put it on, you feel a bit greasy. But I don't mind that because my skin's dry anyway. <coughs> and I don't mind that because my skin's quite dry anyway. So yeah, it was £10 on Superdrug. And I absolutely love it. So that's added to my skincare routine. Now the moment I have been waiting for. Peaches and cream. Obviously. Oh, I have brushes. Hold on. Okay, I will say they are the brushes are dirty, but that's because I've just used them. Okay, I just used them, so don't judge me, babe. So basically, Peach and Cream had a sale, and they done this thing called Kit Refresh, and it was like you bought certain products, and it came at forty pounds. And it, you ended up saving like £32, something like that. And it was so, so... I was going to say good, it wasn't good. It was amazing. No. Why do I keep doing that? Why is that the only words that I can use? I actually sound like I'm illiterate. And I'm not. I've got higher English, so I'm actually not that daft. But... It is amazing. Oh my God, why? Why? Why can I not get that word out of my vocabulary? It is definitely value for money, that's all I'm going to say. So, in the little deal that they were doing, you got two lip glosses, four pigments and four brushes for £40. So, you can't really go wrong with that. So, first of all, I'll show you the brushes that I got. I got the PC26. Don't actually know what it is for. I think it's for foundation, but it's quite domed. I'm so sorry that's bogging, but if you've never seen a dirty makeup brush before, then ah, see ya. I'm hyper. All I've had to eat today is minstrels and chocolate cake and cream and strawberries and iron brew and loads of things with sugar in them. So it's kind of went in my head. I'm going to finish this video as soon as possible because I feel like I need to lie down. Okay, the PC26 Peaches and Cream Brush, I think it's a domed foundation brush, I use it for foundation and basically I just pat the foundation on and you get a flawless base. Could not use any other brush now for my foundation. The brush that I use for powder is the PC24, it's basically just a big fluffy domed brush and I use that for powdering all over my face. Now, I don't know how much these brushes are individually, but they range from about £4 to £8 or £9, which is cheap anyway. Um, and they do a little deal, and it's like you can get four for £15. Um, but then if you're getting like all this for £40, then you might as well go for that. Another brush that I literally could not live without, actually saying that, I have now ordered another two, because... It is the best brush I have in my kit. No word of a lie. It is the PC17 Peaches and Cream Highlighting Brush. So yeah, this is what I use for my highlight. But either there's like green highlight or something on that and I'm here like... Imagine how awkward that would be and I didn't even notice that I finished the video. <laughs> okay, last but not least. It is the PC22 eyeshadow brush. It's a crease brush, but I don't actually know the, like, the full name of it. But it looks like this. Excuse the fact that it is pinky purple in colour. It doesn't look normally look like that. 
but I did use it the other day for a look that I done that I haven't posted on Instagram yet, but it's getting posted today. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, this is amazing for packing colour on. Um, it's so dense, but it's really fluffy at the same time. I don't know how Peaches and Cream make these brushes so amazing, but they do. And when you clean them, they're so easy to clean. I just use a coconut shampoo and every single bit of product comes out and they're just, they're like as good as new. So they're probably my favourite brushes that I have at the minute. The lip glosses that I picked was clear, just so that I can use it with any colour. You can also use it on the face and on your eyes, so it's safer all over. Um, good for like a kind of glossy eyeshadow look. You get 50ml product, which is actually quite a lot. And it, can I just say how good it smells? Oh, I just literally just put that on my nose. It smells like sweets. And I actually put it on my client last week or two weeks ago. And she was like, that is amazing. Like, that smells so good. And I was like, how good is that? Anyway, I need to wrap using that word good and amazing. Look, get it out. Bye. Also got the shade Girl Top, which is a very peachy, pinky, light nude. And I just love this as well. I can't, I don't really know what else to say about them apart from they're flipping banging. So go and buy them. I got four new pigments as well. Can't go on a peach and cream and not buy pigments. It's impossible. So the first one is Gatsby. Um, it's basically just a very shimmery, metallic, goldy silver. I did talk about the shade Disco that I've got. This is basically just, that. the Disco shade is pure silver. This is just the gold version of it. Amazing. I already have this pigment, but I love it that much that I got another one. It is Mermaid's. It's the kind of clear iridescent like pinky purple but mostly blue reflective just depends what way the light hits it absolutely love that for an inner corner highlight or on top of a blue or a purple just gives the nicest kind of I don't even know it makes you look like a mermaid and who doesn't want to look like a mermaid I mean come on gals and boys another pigment that I got is current mood it is a kind of lilac -y purple with a blue shimmer through it that's absolutely stunning as well. And last but not least, this is actually probably my favourite. Super Freak. It is yellow with a tiny shimmer through it. And it's just so summery and oh, I love okay, it. Okay, probably my favourite thing in this haul, not gonna lie. Neon Furry Sliders. Look at that. Oh, my nails are neon as well. How beautiful. Neon and Zebra. Anyway, enough about our nails. So these sliders are Steve Madden. They are from TK Maxx and they wear seven pounds. Don't actually know what size they wear because I tried them on, they were too big for me, but I didn't care because I wanted them anyway. Seven pound for neon furry Steve Madden sliders. I don't care what size they are, I'm just gonna buy them anyway. Another thing that I got, got this last night in Zara. Hello! Just a plain white tee that says, take a chance for creativity and think bigger. Just think that's so positive and so cute and I was feeling very positive last night. So just bought that. It was supposed to be $7.99 and I got it in the sale for $1.99. Can't really go wrong with that, can you? Also, what I got in the sale, not from Zara, from Topshop. They were supposed to be £10, they were reduced to £2. And they're just, they are silver aren't they? Thought they were gold there for a minute. Silver hoop earrings with little kind of tassel, what would you call them? I don't really know, they look like wee stars and stuff hanging off them. I thought they were £2, got to the desk and the girl was like £6. I bought this as well, this wee top. This was £5, it says Je suis à vous, which is French for I am something. Let me google it because that's actually really bad. I've done French at school and I don't even know what that means. I'm yours. That's a really long phrase for two words, isn't it? 
yeah so that's just five pounds this is a size four i have on and it's super big but yeah five pounds in a sale and these were supposed to be two pounds got to this and it was like six pound and i was like take my money there you go check my receipt they had an extra 20 percent off the full sale range so they were a pound a pound you can't even get prima earrings for a pound like that so yeah i'm very happy with myself now we have came to the end of the haul but i do have one last thing which no one else is probably going to be excited about but i am if anybody knows me they know that i am obsessed with juicy couture just think it's so tacky but in a good way do you know what i mean so when we were in TK Maxx the other night I got all the lovely things and then I was leaving and I was like hold on a minute what is that? Dick was like don't know I was like that says Juicy on it that's just a good job babe and he was like okay I kept walking I was like no 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 you wait a minute so I went walked over and seen this it is a velvet clutch bag that has Juicy and some wee diamantes. Just a wee handle, the label's still on it because I haven't actually worn it yet. But it's the Juicy Couture black label which is more expensive so I've heard. And then when I got in the car I was like what the hell is this? A cable? It comes with a power bank. How good is that? So I'm taking that on holiday with me. But yeah, didn't even check the price. I just went, I'm having that. Don't even care how much that is. That is amazing. Realised that it had a red label on it, which usually means that it's in the clearance. So I'm thinking that's probably going to be about £30, maybe £25. Got to the desk and the girl was like £14. I nearly cried. I was that happy. I was like, babe, you take my money. Like, you can have my whole purse if you want it. Then, when I got outside, I checked how much it retails for in America. 228 US dollars. And I paid 14 pounds. Thank you. Good night. So, yes. You were glad to know that I'm finished this haul. Don't even know if you liked it because it was a bit crazy. I just wanted to show you all the things that I've bought. Sometimes it gets a bit boring when I'm talking about just makeup or yeah, it just gets a bit boring when I'm talking about just makeup. So I wanted to kind of show you loads of things that I've been buying. So thank you so, so much for watching. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, then sauce. Um... If you want me to do another one of these videos, like maybe in the next couple of months, like I'll just build up stuff that I've bought, tested out, and I'll talk about it, then let me know. If there's anything else that you would like to see, please let me know, because I am stuck with what to do. I'm just constantly trying to keep on top of trends and things like that. But sometimes you just get a little stuck, you know? So other than that, I'm going to go and stop rambling on and I'll see you in the next video please subscribe and see ya